Here we are, flung into the world, and three of the most important questions we can ask is, why is there a universe? Why are we here? Where are we going? Now, in trying to answer these three fundamental questions, which are, in a sense, the orienting point of our life, we turn to science. And science has answered these three questions are, don't have a clue, don't have a clue, and don't have a clue. Science, in a sense, is as ignorant of these questions as it was since the time of the Babylonians. Why? Perhaps it could be argued that the scientists don't know how to look for answers. Perhaps it is the case that the answers lie outside the province of science. But if we are looking to science to answer these questions, we are proving ourselves by experience to be idiots. Science hasn't given us anything, and it shows no prospect of giving us anything in the future. So now we can, result, we can resort to promissory science, what I call the atheism of the gaps. We got no answers, but we're very humble people. We are ignorant, but at least we know we are ignorant. Therefore, trust us. I think religion has something a little better to say to the world than that. The argument against religion is that it keeps updating itself. It keeps adding stuff. Religion is, in a sense, judged by its, you might say, oldest proponents. Look what they said in the seventh century. Now, interestingly, what the, what the atheists are doing is applying a double standard. Science is judged by its latest, smartest, most advanced, representatives, religion is judged by its oldest, least knowledgeable adherence. In other words, we don't judge science by the arguments of Democritus or Thales. We judge it by the arguments of, say, Stephen Hawking. But if science can progress, why can't religion? Why can't, why can't religious knowledge or moral understanding also grow? So I think this idea that religion is frozen is a fallacy. The Majority of people in the world believe in God, believe in immortality. And here we have three of our most eminent atheists here to tell us why we're wrong. What arguments have they given us that command even a modicum of assent? None. All they have given us is condescension, sarcasm, intellectual superiority. Not a single argument that the 99% of people in this world who hope for a better life and believe in God are wrong to do so. Now, their argument really comes down to this. The absence of evidence is evidence of absence. In other words, if we don't know about something, we should believe it doesn't exist. I want to suggest why this is actually an unscientific and very foolish way to think. We can sort of see it by stepping outside the debate and applying it to some other issue. Let's consider a simple question that's a very relevant question today. Is there life on other planets? And the answer is, we're not sure. We don't know. Along comes the atheist who says the absence of evidence is evidence of absence. We have not found life on other planets, so there's no evidence. Therefore, there is no life on other planets. Is this an intelligent position? No, it is stupid and premature. Why? Because we may not know how to look. It may be that there is. So the, the, the fact that there is no evidence is evidence of nothing. It may be evidence of the poverty of our imagination, the ineffectiveness of our instruments. The bottom line of it ultimately is, when we look at the evidence, we find the religious believers are right. Thank you very much.